Hello, I'm Kelly Thompson and I work with the Kentucky Valley Education Cooperative and we have um, here with us today in the studio Christopher Epling. Hello. And Christopher I'm sure is a familiar face that you have probably seen in your schools from time to time. He works with the Virtual Art Gallery Project and the Virtual Art Gallery Project has grown thanks to Christopher. Um, we began with a, a um, fictional book series um, then we moved on to a biography series and during that fictional series we had 10 authors that published books that were of very high quality that we were very thrilled um, to have seen and so we've provided some assistance with those 10 authors to help them get their books published uh, in paperback so that you can really begin your own authoring entrepreneurial business. However, we have done the background work for that. Mm -hmm. um, we have, uh, Christopher found the publishing company for us. He did a lot of editing um, in those books. So those are all aspects of being a business owner, an author business owner, that we want to make sure you as students understand very clearly because it won't always be that someone will be there doing that no. work for you, no. will it, Christopher? No, no, no. So we want to make sure you as students understand what it is you need to do to be able to be that business person, to market your book, to sell your book, what all's involved. So Christopher and I are gonna talk to you a little bit about that today, and then additionally, I will send a link out. Dr. David Snow from the University of Pikeville, Coleman College of Business, um, has provided a um, template, if you will, on how to create a real business plan and all the aspects that need to be in just a general business plan. But Christopher, being an author, can talk to us about building a business from an author's perspective. Um, so Dr. Snow will record another session and I'll send that out for you. Um, and he will also be available to come to your school to to provide assistance with developing that business plan. So, um, how do you get started? Um, let me tell you um, a way that we plan to stay in touch with you throughout the entire project. Um, several ways, actually. Um, Christopher's been visiting schools, and so he'll, he'll visit you and your teacher and give you some pointers and tips on how to um, how to develop your business, um, but we also uh, will email your, your teacher and then we'll, we'll record sessions such as these, and these recorded sessions will be posted to the holler. There's a virtual art gallery holler. So if you have not registered on the holler, you as the student or the teacher that's um, uh, working with you on this project, you need to do that and we'll, we'll go through the steps to show you um, here today while we're um, recording the session on how to register on the hauler and then um, where you can go to get additional information about this author entrepreneurial um, experience that you're about to have. So let me throw this date out there and then we're going to let Christopher talk to you a little bit. Um, April 27th at the um, East Kentucky Exposi Exposition Center here in Pikeville, um, we have what's called the Action Research Summit, and there's right around a thousand teachers, educators, principals, um, and community members that come to learn about new innovative educational practices. So there will be a large audience there. So what we want to do is to celebrate your success and accomplishments in publishing these books and have like a book signing mm -hmm. that day. Book signing. Yeah. So we'll have a table with a very nice tablecloth there, but it will be up to you as the entrepreneur to market your book. How are you going to draw the public in to want your book? There's going to be 10 other authors there, plus Amazon and mm -hmm. Barnes and Noble websites where they can purchase any book they want. So what are you going to do to encourage folks to want your book? Um, so that, that's called uh, marketing and, and um, um, you know, creating that business plan that will attract folks to your book. Now, if you want to put up um, a trifold board on the table or, um, 
you know, whatever you want to do uh, that day is totally up to you and, and the teacher that's working with you, um, you're welcome to do so. Um, but we will provide the, the table with the tablecloth and I'm sure when folks purchase your book, they're going to want you to sign it. Oh, yeah. So um, make sure you bring a nice pen with you that day. And also, um, if you have business cards business that you could cards, print, okay. I'm sure that if folks wanted, if they like your writing style, they like your book, they may want to stay in touch with you. Um, if you've created a website, you may want to put that website on your business card um, so that you can put it inside the book. Um, so that if, if you ever write another book and folks are interested in your writing style, they might want to um, contact you through the information on that business card. Um, Christopher, do you have something you'd like to add about being an author, entrepreneur, some of the experiences you've had over the years? Sure, I'll try, I'll try to talk, talk a little bit about that. Um, we have been to a few schools so far, and um, of course we're, we're nearing not close to halfway through the visitations for the young authors, but we're, we're heading in that direction. And what I've noticed with the students that I've visited so far is that each one are already thinking about uh, ways to stand out, like um, Kelly talked about. Um, putting different things in the space that you have there to sign in that, that, that stand out. One student, um, Chrissy Walters from Belfry, talked about buttons with yeah. her characters. Um, but we want your space to stand out. This is about branding. You have to think about this in terms of that you've written a book now, you've illustrated, or maybe it's an illustrator, author, combo, and, you're, and you've been selected for publishing, and you're going to have these uh, books available to you to you to sell and so this begins the process for you though as a young author young illustrator to think about well how can I turn this now into uh, a, a business really and, and, and in order to do that um, you want to think about things like well what what types of books you're writing your logo your business name I, I talked to students about already thinking about that right now heading into the event and then use that logo on things with your display um, our goal is for you to uh, take these books, to sell these books, and then buy more books with the money that you generate from these first uh, 25 books, and then continue that on and on and on and on until you've created a business. Um, there'll be more, hopefully, signings for, for the students. Mm -hmm. we'll, uh, and all of that comes in, too. Um, KVEC and Kelly and, and myself have, have worked hard to establish you now in a position where you can grow your business. Um, we, we talk about press releases with the students when I visit them. Um, press releases are important um, to send out to media, newspaper, radio, TV even. And um, what that does is it generates attention and awareness that look what I have done and look what I'm planning to do. And, and that opens up uh, the avenue to do more signings at local libraries, bookstores, and even regional events such as the Kentucky Book Fair and the Kentucky Reading Association. So these are the things we are um, hoping to get you involved with. And like Kelly said, Dr. Snow is going to be assisting you with understanding what is a business and how does a business work and how do you turn what you've done into a business. I'll be helping you with the author and the illustrator um, promotional side of that, which is getting your name out there, getting your work out there, and getting more work for you in the future. So that's really the goals that we're having. Yeah, and you know, just like Christopher said, um, Kayvac, fortunately has been able to take care of the monetary side of publishing those books but um, it's going to be up to you um, how far you want to Absolutely. go with this project. Yep. Um, Christopher and Dr. Snow will talk to you about how to build your business but now it's up to you um, if you really want to take those steps to yep. do that. Um, and, and just like Christopher said if you market well and, and you get folks interested in your work and purchasing your work, then the money that you make, the profit, you can reinvest right back right into back your in business to buy more books, to continue to sell. You, know, you may want to look at other locations and places that um, there might be large groups of people that would be interested in your books. As far as the um, um, press release, you know, um, you may want to reach out to the local media in your area um, and, and give them the information about your book and, and you know places that you'll be or how they how folks can go about purchasing your book. Um, Christopher, I will add um, for our um, Action Research Summit, um, he put together a very nice, and I emailed that to you, um, 
it's like your book on a bookshelf with the other 10 authors and their books. And so he also purchased um, a floor size banner that will be out in front. But now your book will be on that yeah. um, drawn bookshelf Wonderful. with 10 Wonderful. other books. So what are you going to do at the signing table to attract folks mm -hmm. to your book? How can you let them know just a little sneak peek of, of what's in your book um, just in, while they're walking by? Um, but reaching out to these other um, groups that, that Christopher is going to be telling you about, um, this is kind of a self-propelled project. Um, we've, it, it's kind of like when you have a slingshot, we've got you in this position, <laughs> <That's> right, <yeah. laughs> okay? And, and you're going to have to get the momentum going and complete the other aspects of the project in order to help your business to be successful. So. Um, at this time, do you want to talk about the other groups sure. that, that we had discussed earlier? Okay, okay. Uh, <clears throat> there are groups around the region, so they're, they're interested in, in small publishers, and that's really what you're becoming as a, as a publisher on top of an author and an illustrator. So that's why we want, you know, Dr. Snow is going to talk to you about the, the publishing side of it, being a business, uh, you are producing books to sell to the public. That's what you're going to do. And then there's the author illustrator side to that where uh, you gain work as an illustrator or, or an author even in marketing your work too. So there's organizations though or, or um, uh, events even around, around the region that are interested in young authors and young illustrators. And one of those is the Kentucky Book Fair. Now that's the state's official book fair. It happens every November in Frankfort, Kentucky. If you do well in promoting your book and establishing a business and a brand and following these steps that we're going to walk you through, then there's a good chance that we can actually get some of you into the Kentucky Book Fair in November, and, which is a great opportunity. But we can't let everybody in. Uh, they're real selective. We don't choose who goes. But they look at um, young authors and illustrators who are doing what we're asking you to do, and that's building a small business with what you've been given. Okay, uh, You are a published author now. The difference is between, uh, let's say, you and an author writing for Amulet Books in New York. Amulet Books, they do all the work for you, but you're going to have to do the work yourself. So what you could potentially do is take the first 25 books, sell them, maybe buy a few more, and then that's it. You've, that's all as far as you want to go with it. And if that's how far as you want to go with it, then that's fine. But I do know this, of the young authors that I've spoken with already at the schools, they're motivated. They want to take this and grow and grow this into something large and big and something that's profitable to them. Um, so there's there are willingness and eagerness to take this to a new level. There's the Kentucky uh, Reading Association too, which is similar to the Kentucky Book Fair. But like I said, they're not going to say, okay, you've written a book, you've got a book published, you have you know books to sell. Let's let you in. Uh, otherwise, they would have a million people Probably. setting up. So they're pretty selective. Mm -hmm. about it. So those two um, entities that Christopher spoken of that, um, you know, are willing to um, let you uh, get your book title out there into their circles, um, that's a, a wonderful avenue um, to, to reach folks that we know are interested in reading and that can help you market your book. But additionally, I thought about this while Christopher was speaking with you. Um, there is in Kentucky something called the Governor's School for Entrepreneurs. Cool. And what, what they're looking for are students that are beginning in high school. I think it's 9 through 12, but, but we'll have to go back and research this. Yeah. Um, but you can, you can Google Kentucky School for Entrepreneurs and get all the information that you need. But they're looking for students that currently have a business, a functioning business. So once you get your business plan made and you start selling and making a profit, you will have established your business. And you could apply for the Governor's School for Entrepreneurs. If you're accepted into the Governor's School for Entrepreneurs, you get to go for two weeks and, and they will help you further develop oh, your wow. business. But here is the beauty in that. It's a full ride college scholarship oh, if yes. you're accepted. What an opportunity. So, yeah. So, um, you know, why are we doing this with you twofold? One is to help you realize that, that you have talent, you have skills, um, you can be an entrepreneur regardless of what college degree you choose to have or uh, what occupation you choose to have. You can mm -hmm. always be an entrepreneur 
um, from the author illustrator perspective. But secondly, when you apply to a college, or even when you apply for a job, they're asking you, what are your past experiences? And to be able to say that you are a successful published author, that's, um, that's a good thing to Absolutely. have on a resume, isn't it, Chris? So, um, so we're, we're looking at, at those two perspectives. One, um, to help you either get into college or, or to use that for job experience. And then two, to know that regardless of where you go in life or what you do, you could always have an income um, with being an author or an illustrator. <clears throat> and so these two groups that Christopher just mentioned, um, if you reach out to them, um, that's going to put you in touch with a much broader audience than, um, than what we're doing here just in our region. <clears throat> Absolutely. And this is a great opportunity. It, and like Kelly was saying, this can branch out into many, many different areas. Um, you're a young business, then on top of that, you're, in, you're a young author, you're a young illustrator, you're published. All these things can add to um, your avenue of where you're going after school. And, and it can start in middle mm -hmm. school, elementary even. I mean, um, I do want to mention a little bit more about the table presentation. Sure. Um, so we do have, a, you know, a little bit of time before the summit, but we don't have a lot of time. And I stress to students when I, when I went out to speak with you so far, um, and I will for the remaining schools I'm going to, um, get to work now. Don't, don't procrastinate on this. Don't wait till the last mm -hmm. week before the summit and then try to print business cards. Um, and I do understand that whenever you go to create stuff to display like business cards and handouts, um, you could go to Vista print and places, but those, you know, those cost money and, 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 and it also takes some time. So you, with this money that you're going to generate from your first sales, that's the stuff you can do with that after the event. You can go and purchase business cards. But you can create business cards to hand out now at, at your school. Mm -hmm. um, your teacher will help you to design something and then print it and cut it out and hand it out. Um, even a s small piece of paper um, with your book cover on it. And I'll send um, uh, to, to all the teachers, um, I'll send JPEGs of the book covers so that they have Perfect. them. So that Perfect. They, they're able to. Um, sit, to put those on uh, handouts, but even a summary, like a short summary of your book, and, and a short bio even of you, who you are, on a piece of paper, a flyer, uh, with the book cover. That's a great thing to hand out. Even if people, you know, stop by, they can pick a piece of paper up and learn what your book's about and who you are. And stuff. Do you have your business card with you? Uh, you know what? This is so funny. I was going to hand my business card out earlier uh -huh. when, I, when I met the folks from the Apple shop, uh -huh. and I gave every one of those away uh, this yeah. week, and I, I keep them in my wallet. I have week. lots of your business cards because <laughs> uh, any opportunity that I have that folks Thank are you. interested, I hand those out. And But Christopher's business card is a really good example. And maybe Thank when you, you do the school visits, you know, yeah, you could show. Absolutely. Or we could take a picture and post it onto the hauler because okay. we're going to show you how to get onto that in just a moment. But okay. that will give you an idea of... Um, what well, of all the days I don't have my cards with me. <laughs> That's okay. Kelly. That's not a problem. Not a problem. Okay. So, so I didn't mean to interrupt no, you. No, you're fine. You were talking I, no, about branding fine. and yeah. business cards and and yeah. um, you know that that's very yeah. important to get to get folks noticing um, your work <laughs> and um, interested in purchasing your work. And in the high school um, young authors for this and illustrators, the high schools have a great opportunity in particular because of the computer class and the junior yes. journalism classes. Yes. And I've, I've spoke with the, the schools about this. So your computer class at your school, like when Kelly mentioned a website earlier, some of you are thinking, wow, well, what do I do to create a website? Well, your school can do that for you. Um, your school computer class can create a website with general information about you and your work, and then we can tie that in with STARS Publishing website. So when someone goes to STARS Publishing, they can click on your book cover and it takes them to your website. So that's the goal with that. So the journalism classes, though, can create your press releases for you. It's a learning experience. It can be a, you know, a lesson in, in the class. What is a press release? How do you create it? And then the, the class can learn and they, they can have it as almost like a, you know, uh, activity for the, for, the, for the class to create your, your press release for you. And then we'll be talking about what you do with that press release after you create it, though, with you whenever we visit your schools. There's a process of sending that out to all the media, okay? And that generates attention, which generates maybe an interview mm -hmm. or an article written. Mm -hmm. And in that article, if it's, if it's written, is contact information about you, about how to reach you if someone wants to either uh, host a book signing for you or, or reach out to even do another article about what you've done. Ted Hudson won the National Yes, I Can Award recently for his work 
and his book, you know, Noah's Ark, that's kind of the flagship example here that happened before this project and then um, really, really kind of uh, revealed, revealed to us what could, what could be and happen. If you take it serious, Ted does. Ted reaches out to schools. He, he's like, hey, would you like for me to come and do a book signing at, a li at libraries? I mean, he, he's turned into the complete businessman. When it yeah, comes there to you it, go. So. That's what's important. And he is a student at Breathitt County High Breathitt School. Breathitt County High School. And, um, <coughs> TedHudson.net is the example for his website. So yeah, so if you want to go take a look at, at Ted's work, that might yeah. give you um, some ideas of what you want to do with yours. But again, this is this is propelled by you. Absolutely. <laughs> you can take this as far as you want to go. We're gonna try to support you. And um, at the end of this um, session, we'll give you both my email address and Christopher's email address if you have questions. But the best way to reach us is, um, well, email's a good way. I won't say the best way, but an additional way is through theholler.org. And if you have not registered on theholler.org, make sure you do so. Um, on theholler.org, there is, um, and if you think, I don't, I don't know anything about the holler, I don't know what to do, there is a button that um, says new users. And if you click on the new user button, you'll automatically see how do I create account, an account, um, how do I make posts and updates, and how can I put my picture on there. So um, once you do that, then you notice there's a, a quick button that says haulers, and we have an art gallery hauler, and this is what that hauler looks like. And if you notice, there's just places down here that you can um, post things, but also there's a section right here that says documents, and when you click on documents, it lists um, just what it says, Nuggets, documents yep, that have yep. been posted there. Um, so you can just kind of, resources, yeah. right. So you can just scroll through. And I'm thinking either in an email or a post after today's session, Christopher or myself will go back through and just list. We've talked about business cards. Mm -hmm. We've talked about branding. We've talked about a website. We've talked about marketing. We've talked about a press release. We've talked about um, all of these aspects of a business. And so um, if you didn't begin taking notes at the beginning of our session, you, all of that may just be rumbling around in your head. So we'll try to type that up and either send it out to an email to your teacher or we can post it here on the holler. If you have questions, or if you have additional information that you think would be beneficial to other author entrepreneurs, make sure you, you post it here. Um, that would be fine to do so. Um, let's see. Um, I'm gonna show them the, maybe click on the document page and just show Yeah, them. let's look at what it looks like when you click on the document section. We're on home now. It looks like the document section. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's going time. a little slow. It's percolating. It's the, it's the connection, the internet it, connection. It's getting there. But um, if you notice, um, Christopher's made several posts yeah. about <laughs> school visits and so on. But once you are on uh, the documents page, we'll go right here. There, there we, we go. go. Um, if you'll look, um, we have titles that tell us exactly what these documents are that have been posted. Um, so that they can search for, you know, what applies to, because there's different, there's different documents here with different projects. Mm -hmm. You want to be sure that you know, not all these are for uh, the young author entrepreneurial stuff, because we have documents that tie back to the um, art workshop and, and different things like that. So so when you click on here, the documents, that, the first document we're going to be posting to the first session, we're just getting started with the schools, is going to be an overview of today's session. Mm -hmm. And so they'll have all the information. So you'll be able to find that though here, and it'll be listed before the first one you, that you see the Leaders and Legends uh, resource at the top. Um, everything that we, we post, um, it comes in order of when it was posted and during time. So so. If this was posted a month a month ago, that will come after the most recent post, right. which will be the right. post we're posting today. Yeah. And additionally, I emailed to you from Dr. Snow the um, 
template for the business plan. Put one on was here. blank mm -hmm. and one had notes written in it. And anytime you create a business, you start with a problem. What is the problem? Well, the problem is um, maybe people, you feel that people don't have enough um, to do in relaxation mm -hmm. time. Um, so they might want to read. Or you might feel like the problem is, um, you know, uh, the level of reading, the literacy rate, um, so that you want to publish books so that, that we can create more readers. Whatever it is, the problem that you begin with, that's how you um, begin working through that business plan template. And again, Dr. Snow will provide additional information with you. Um, and he's even available to come to your schools to um, provide some assistance, just like Christopher does. So um, we will. I did email that to your teachers, but I'll also post that there in the holler so you can look at that business plan as well. Okay. We also a little bit. I think we should talk about. Um, uh, well, well, the holler is the best the best resource for you to go to to see post about what's happening and when things are happening in terms of that. Any direct questions can be asked on the forum here on the holler or by email. But I think we should talk a little bit about the cost, like thinking of cost for books and how the, that works with reordering books and things sure. like that. Um, this is going to be covered again. Now I know this is a lot being thrown at you in one, in one session, but that's okay because at least you're, you're getting your feet in the water with what's coming, okay? Um, so, so it's important that you take these, watch these sessions in order as they're posted and created. That way you're building on your knowledge, okay? So you're getting an overview today, a lot thrown at you. You might feel overwhelmed, but it's really not. If you take it step by step, you'll be fine, okay? Um, before the summit, though, is coming up. That's your first official book signing. That's when you'll first start selling your, what we call your inventory, which is your books. You know, that's a business term related to, your, you know, down the road. We'll talk more about it. But you have to think of a cost for how much you're going to sell your book for, okay? Versus how much your book costs to be printed. Your, your, um, your books are being printed by a, a company called Minutemen Press. They're publishing your work, and they're located in Lexington, Kentucky, okay? And your books range from um, $1.50, maybe $2.50 to print uh, per copy. It's not a whole lot. I don't think it's really over $2, I don't think, um, for any of these. I can't really. Uh, I don't think so. Did the, but off the top of my head. But it varies, though, you see. Not every book's the same. Um, because of the length, the number of pages, number of pages and the size of the book, size and of the book. all that had were determining factors in color, the cost. Color. color, how much color. So if you did a book, let's say Deception, um, Sarah Conley and Abby Webb, that's two Pottsville, um, Paintsville High School students who were selected, their book's entirely black and white. So their book's not going to cost as much as um, uh, Feeney the Ballerina from Betsy Lane High School. Yeah, Feeney the Ballerina is completely in color, okay? Um, but you have to be thinking about how much am I going to sell my book for? And how this relates to your business side is that you do a comparative thing in the business market. You look at other books that are similar to yours and how they're printed, page count, things like that, and you see how much they're selling for. Because see, here's the thing. If you, you have a published book, let's, and I'm going to use the example of um, The Ugly Pumpkin, okay, by Christopher, um, I can't think of his last name right off the top of my head, Conley, Christopher Conley from Millard uh, Middle School. Uh, Christopher Conley from Millard Middle School, The Ugly Pumpkin. Um, it's a smaller book, it's like five by eight, and it's in color, okay? And let's say Christopher says, I'm going to sell my books for $6 a, a copy, okay? And then he finds out, though, there's another book. It may be about something completely different, but it's the same age, uh, reading level. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's, let's say it's, um, it's a color 5x8 book, and it's printed in paperback just like Christopher's. It sells for $4. So if someone's going to buy books and they're looking on a bookshelf, and they see two books that maybe one's about a pumpkin and one's about Bigfoot, it doesn't matter the content, but they're they're printed similar, similarly, and, 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 but one is, you know, significantly higher than the other one. They're going to go for that lower cost book. So that's called your market, right? You have to look at, but that's a, a it'll be covered later. I know it's a lot. But be thinking and comparing and figuring out what your book is worth. One thing that I did pur um, purposefully with the printing when setting these up for print, 
I did not send set a set price on your book. So I didn't decide that for you. It's not there's no set price listed anywhere on your book. Now that can be changed down the road and I did that, you know, intentionally so that on your next printing of your books when you decide a price that can be put on there, okay? But I didn't do that because I want you to decide how much your book's worth and then make that decision on your own based on what you find by comparing it. And that's part of that entrepreneurial part of it. Mm -hmm. okay. Christopher brought up an excellent point in that, you know, you may really want to get on the internet and research other authors, mm -hmm. uh, books sure. that are similar to yours to yep. see, you know, not only what they charge, but yep. also how they market their Absolutely. book. Absolutely. Um, yep. You might get some ideas from them. Um, but also, he brought another good point out in that um, at the Action Research Summit, when you sell your book, you want to have something very clearly identifying how much that book costs. Yeah. And if you have um, a, a kind of a, like a propaganda technique, if they <laughs> uh, buy two, get one for half price or yeah, whatever, sure. you know, you sure. want to make sure you publicize yeah. that as well so that when folks are walking by, they can see very clearly. Mm -hmm. You know, if I stop at this booth and look at this book, this is how much money I'm going to have to pay for That's that book. Idea. So, yeah. Absolutely. So, yeah. We'll, we'll want to think about all those things. And again, as I said, we'll type that up in an email and we'll also po uh, post it here to theholler.org. Um, and again, if, if you have um, questions as you're working through them, um, Christopher will be out to your school. Dr. Mm -hmm. Snow will be hopefully recording his session on Thursday um, and we'll post it to the hauler. Um, but you can always email us and we'll give you our email addresses here in just a moment. Christopher, do you have anything else you want to add well, to I, today's session? Well, when, I'm, when I've been visiting the schools, I, I mean, I, we are really proud of you all. We are. You, you've done a great Absolutely. job. Absolutely. Each and every one of you uh, through the workshop, it was eight weeks long. And this is what gives me hope that they're going to go on through with this even further, is that you listened. They, mm -hmm. they followed us step by step. You listened to Layout. Um, Supernova from McGoffin uh, is one of the uh -huh. most amazing books I've ever seen. Um, and I mean that. And I'm not saying that I, will ha I have a favorite of you all. Every, every, every one of you I love, your books are amazing. But if you really want an example of a student, and you all did this. I'm not saying you didn't. I don't want to be clear to not, you know, stand out right, with one right. stand out of another. But the creators of that book, and I'm sorry, I cannot think of their names at the top of my head. You know who you are when you watch this. Uh, it'll be listed later. You um, um, did a great job. Layout content story-wise, mm -hmm. they thought of where the illustrations will go, how the book will flow. All those were, were brought to you in terms of steps, right? So step one, you decide, you know, you remember the whole workshop, how it went, eight weeks long. You did it. That's my point. You listened. So that gives me hope that you're going to listen from here on mm -hmm. to build yourself a business. You know, mm -hmm. and we're just proud of you all, right? Very Every, proud of you. Super, I said supernova, but I, I, ha, it's not, I don't have a favorite. Right, I don't right. want you. Everyone, of the, everyone has done a great job. Super yeah. proud of all of you all, for sure. And and because we are so proud of you, that's why we wanted to go ahead and publish your books and give you a platform or an yes. opportunity to to begin selling your books Absolutely. at the Action Research Summit. And not only are Christopher and I excited for your books to be there and to see you and how you're going to market your books, but there are also lots oh, of other yeah. people that Talk are looking to forward that. to seeing your books I, and so you want to present them um, in the best yeah. way you possibly can. I, I talked to him about that too when I, when I visiting schools. Um, uh, Ted, t because of Ted's book, a, a, a software company from Silicon Valley who visited the uh, summit last time actually hired him to create some artwork for their website and he was paid for it. Awesome. So, so you um, never know what kind of, no, do you Christopher, never you know. never know what kind of opportunities no. will come around I mean, um, once you market yourself. Last and, time the lieutenant governor's there, I mean, yes, you know, yes. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a big deal. This isn't just, hey, let's all go hang out and talk about, you know, where, where things are headed in terms of education. This is a big deal and you have a great opportunity. It's up to you to take it seriously. That's right. Now this, we take the ball out of, it's in your court as they say. What you do with this is up to you. But you, you're missing a golden opportunity if you just sell these books and go buy Xbox games. Um, you know, you, you need to sell these books and buy more books. That process we'll talk about too. It's really easy ordering. Let's say you sell all 25 books at this summit. All you have to do is call Minuteman Press, and then you're, I talk to the schools and what the schools said they're willing to do. The schools will, since you, you don't have a checking account, you have no way, you don't have a debit card, you have just cash after this. 
we talked about with the schools, we'll go ahead and do a purchase order, and then the student pays the schools back until you are set up with a checking account for your business, which is a part of that business plan. Yeah, and Dr. Snow will talk you through steps of how yeah. how to really set your business up to go forward. A lot of information, but a lot okay. of information, and that's why we wanted to talk to you rather than sending it to you mm -hmm. in email first. So we're we're talking to you now. You'll watch this session, and then you can access the documents on um, the Art Gallery Holler um, to get a summation of today's session. Um, Christopher, as always, it's a pleasure to work with you, you and students. We're both just so excited to, yeah. to be able to work with you, and we're so proud of you, yeah. and we're ready to show you off and let you show off Absolutely. to the rest of the world because um, the grant that we're using to actually buy your books and, and to hire uh, Christopher to come to your school, it's a national grant. It's not just an Eastern Kentucky grant. It's throughout the United States. So there are folks all over the United States and also some other countries that watched um, our um, Action Research Summit last time. So they'll be seeing you and I'm sure they'll take a, maybe interview some of you. So who knows um, who your audience will be that will be seeing um, the books that you've created. But we're all very proud of you and we're excited. Um, and at this time, we'll go ahead and put our email addresses up so that if you have any additional questions, you can email myself, Kelly Thompson, or Christopher Epling at Epling Illustrations, and we'll try to get back in touch with you. Um, but students, if you email us, that gives us a contact directly to you because up until this point, we've been having to go through emailing the teacher. Um, so um, feel free to email us, and if we can answer any questions, we'll be happy to do so. But with that having been said, Christopher, if you have anything else to say? I'm good. Just thank you for everything, Kelly. All right. Without you're you, so welcome. Would, none of this would have been possible without Kelly. Oh, she, she, just everyone knows. Far that. too much credit. There's yeah. there's ten people behind me that this wouldn't happen without well, them. But I, I thank you. And then them too. <laughs> <laughs> but we are glad to have this project, but most of all we're happy that we have students that are gonna have fabulous businesses and Absolutely. And don't forget us little people when you become right. a famous uh, author, the next um, um, John Grisham yeah, or, uh, or, um, or whoever. I'm, tr I'm trying to, uh, Marie Sendak, I'm thinking. Yeah, of Marie books, Sendak, you know, don't so. forget us when, yeah. when you get to be famous. But until then, we'll look forward to talking with you on theholler.org as well as through email. So have a great day.